Coach Kim here, seasoned professional personal trainer, ready to give you a 20 minute seated mature adult or beginner workout. Grab those chairs and put a smile on your face. Get ready. All right, Coach Kim, ready to give you a seated chair workout. So hopefully you have your chair nice, uh, good sturdy chair. If, if you need a little back support, you can put a little pillow, a roll up a towel, and I want you seated nice and tall. So we're gonna start with some basic marches. So while you're seated in that chair, just move those legs up and down. Oh, movement is medicine, motion is motion. You hear me talk a lot about that, because it's so true. Whew. So we are gonna do a nice little full body workout. And I just want you to do the best you can do. That's all I ever ask. And your body's a machine. You just mirror me the best you can. If you feel like, hey, I need to stop it too much, you stop at any time. And just remember to do what works for you. And I just wanna say, I'm very proud of you for even moving. Just keep this body, it's a machine. You feel better mentally, physically, emotionally when you move. So let's go ahead and get about 10 more seconds of our march. You're gonna feel this with the hips, with the legs. Things moving, beautiful. Now, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and put your arms by your side with your thumbs up, facing up. I want you to reach up, have those thumbs touch each other, come back down. This is good for the shoulder, reach. And we use the shoulder all the time. You're reaching up for something in the pantry there. Ah, maybe you're, I don't know, you're reaching, you're painting, whatever you might be doing. Come back down. Oh, all the way up. Remember to always breathe. Breathing is so important, that breath. So breathe in your nose, out your mouth. That oxygen going to the brain. Breathe in. Breathe out. So grateful we can move. There's so much to be grateful for during the day. You know that? Oh, you know, whenever you're in kind of a yuck mood and you think about what you're grateful for, do you notice it makes you feel better? Mmm, I know it does me. Attitude, gratitude. We all need to have that attitude, gratitude. No stinking thinking. Keep going. Aren't you grateful we can move? We got one more. Reach up. And beautiful. Now, some of you felt that in your shoulder. So let's do a little stretch. Take your arm across. Grab, cup your other, uh, your hand with your other arm on the elbow and just a gentle shoulder stretch. So you feel it right through here. And remember, stretching should be slight discomfort, no pain whatsoever. And then switch to the other side. Keep that arm straight, the left arm straight. Take your right hand, cup that elbow. A gentle little pull towards you. Very nice. Now let's do that again. Take your arm across, cup your elbow, pull. Beautiful. Oh, it feels good to move. Lubricating all these joints. Perfect. I'd like you to take your right hand, anchor yourself on your chair. Get nice and sturdy there. I want you to reach up and over and then come back down. Let's reach again. You're going to feel this inside. Do a little bit more again in that shoulder. And make sure you anchor yourself. You don't want to be falling off that chair, and you won't. Just make sure you're nice and sturdy. Give me one more, please. Up, back down, let's switch sides. Anchor that other hand, we'll do five reps, reach up and over, five. Feel that in the sides. Mmm, feels good. You know, something I'm gonna ask you, I talk a lot about exercise and I talk a lot about nutrition. It's about good, just good, good living, good feeling. We all have a, a reason why you showed up today, why you're working out. We wanna feel good, don't we? We wanna look good, we all have a lot. So ask yourself, how many fruits and vegetables have you had today? Make sure that you're not meal skipping, you're drinking a lot of water. Reverse and try to have a fruit or vegetable with every meal today. Maybe have a couple scrambled eggs, maybe you want to put some berries. Put it on the side there. Go ahead and roll the shoulders. Oh, they're going to feel nice. Feel that stress and tension out. Let's reverse again. Just mirror what I'm doing. Great. Perfect. All right, shake it up. Now, what I'd like you to do is let's think about this right leg. Go ahead and put your right hand on top of the leg here on your thigh, which is off of your quadricep. I want you to flex that foot up, bring that toe towards you, and feel it. You feel that muscle in there? It's working. Come back down nice and slow. This is called a leg extension. Bring it up, flex that foot. And those of you that might have knee issues, this is actually a great way to strengthen all the muscles around the knee. So lift up. We're going to get 10 reps. That's a total of three. Remember to breathe, lift up, four, 
beautiful. Lift again, all the way up, flex that foot five. And I have your hand on here, so I want you to feel that muscle contract. Six, and when you think about that muscle, you work it that much more. So think about that quadricep. Seven. I know you want to think about all those tweaks and dust tools today, but let's think about this muscle. Eight, we're going to do two more. Up, up, up. That's nine. Feel that quad, you're working that muscle. All the way up and hold, hold, hold. That's five, four, three, two, and oh, I know you felt that, so we got to even this out. Left hand, top of that left thigh. I want you to flex the foot towards you. Come back down nice and easy. Again, we got to get 10 reps on this leg. All the way up. Two. Beautiful. Thinking about this quadricep muscle. Lift up three. Is your back nice and supported? Oh, you're saying, Coach Kim, I feel this in my thigh, my quadricep. And it feels good to move it. Five. We can work up to doing Oh, we could do one or two sets. Six. If you end up doing three sets, you might be a little sore right now. You have to work up to that. Lift up. Good. Keep going. This is going to make you stronger and stronger every day. Every day and every way gets better and better. That's nine. We're going to do one more. Put your hand on that thigh. Lift up. Squeeze the quads. You hold. That's five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Ooh, that felt good, didn't it? Now, next thing I'd like you to do is put your hands by your side. Relax your grip. A couple of you might have a couple little one to three pound dumbbells. You're welcome to use that too. But take your hands by your side, relax your grip, come up and I want you to squeeze the bicep muscle. That's the top of the arm. I don't want you to squeeze your fist. Open the hands up, come back down. And those of you that might have dumbbells in your hand, just make sure you relax that grip to on the dumbbells. A lot of people tend to squeeze the dumbbell. You are squeezing the bicep. Three, beautiful job. Come back up, four, Ooh, I know I'm feeling it. We're gonna get 10 reps. Five, squeeze the muscle, not the dumbbell, not the hand. Six, you're doing a great job. Work on those arms. Seven, I know you wanna wear those sleeveless shirts. Up, 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 that's eight. And two more. Oh, that's nine. And get one more. Squeeze and hold, hold up. Your arms are shaking, that's great, that's 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, harder, three, two, and shake it out. Perfect. Take that right arm, extend it out straight in front of you. Put your other hand on top and just a gentle stretch. Now remember, is your arm bent? Straight, 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 straight. straight. And a nice stretch in the muscles of this foot. And those of you that might have carpal tunnel, this is such a nice little stretch. You got your computer, maybe you sew, maybe you play piano. Fine motor movements, these are good stretches to do. Let's go back to the original hand. It happens to be my right hand. Put your arm up straight. Straight, straight, straight. Is your palm up like you're saying, stop. But we're not stopping, we're going. Let's do a nice little stretch. Pull that Let's go to the other side. Put your palm up. Just a gentle stretch. Remember the arm is straight. Beautiful pull. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go back to some lower body. So I want you to put those hands on top of your uh, knees here. Maybe a couple of you have a couple of those dumbbells. You're welcome to put the dumbbells on top of the knees. You're going to come up on those toes and then back down. This is a gentle to seated calf raise. That's two. You feel this right in the bottom of the calf. Three. I don't want to neglect any of your 600 muscles today. Four. We're going to move them. Oh, movement is medicine. Motion is lotion. That's six. Keep going all the way up. Seven. We're going to get 12 of these. Oh, that's eight. Feel this in the back of the legs here. Nine, your lower leg. Nine, ten. We're gonna keep going. Eleven. Let's do one more up and hold. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, I know you're feeling that in the calf. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's take that right foot. I just want you to turn it around. Remember the hokey pokey and turn it all about? So much fun. Rotate that ankle. Now I want you to point and flex the foot. Flex and flex. You might hear some rice krispies crackling around, and that's okay. It just means it's a great day to be alive. Let's switch to the other side. Let's rotate the ankle in this direction. Beautiful. Feels good to move. We want to be pain free. But point and flex. Point and flex. All very nice. Good. 
Now I want you to sit up nice and tall. Take your opposite hand. So I'm using my left hand on my right knee. Put your other hand behind your chair. Sit up tall and just do a nice gentle spinal rotation. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And if you could twist a little more, that's fine. If you feel pain, please either nix this and get rid of this exercise, Ooh, or just don't turn as far. Okay, let's go ahead and put your other hand. Sit up nice and tall. Give me a nice little turn. Oh, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, a little bit more of a turn. And rest. Good. Let's stretch these hamstrings out. I'd like you to sit up on the edge of that chair. Extend the right leg out straight. Flex the foot towards you. Lean towards that extended leg. And you're going to feel a good little stretch in the back of the leg. Hold that for five. Four, three, two, and switch. So do you know tight hamstrings, tight hips contribute to back pain? And 80% of people have issues with their back at some point. So it's really important that we keep these hamstrings and hips nice, nice and open. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Good. Your hamstrings like that, didn't it? Now I'd like you to take your left foot on top of the right. And some of you are saying, there's no way I don't have that flexibility. That's fine. You can just whip right past this and get to what works for you. So your foot is gently on top of the other leg. I'd like you to take your left hand on your left knee with a gentle push. Take my right hand, I'm grabbing my heel of my foot and I'm pulling it up towards me. And you're gonna feel a nice good stretch kind of in that glute hip area. And just hold the stretch. Muscles you wouldn't know you had. This is good stuff. And let's switch sides. So put the other foot on top, just a nice gentle stretch. Push down that bent knee, grab the heel, push down. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? Come on, admit that. It feels good to move, and this does get a little bit easier than what we're doing. So feel free, feel free to do this a couple times a day, every day, it would work great. Excellent. So this next stretch is gonna open the hip. What I'd like you to do is gently get on one side of the chair. So you're gonna take one leg, you're gonna put it back behind you, you're gonna sit up nice and tall, and I want you to open up the hip right through here. So sit up tall, just feel gentle. If, you, if your foot's up close to you, you're not gonna feel it as much, so make sure that leg goes back, back, back. Just sit up tall, and open up the hip. Again, tight hips and hammies, contribute to back pain. Breathe in, breathe out through your mouth. Let's get one more, breathe in through the nose. Switch sides. So gently go to the other side of the chair. Make sure you don't fall off. We don't want that. Put your other leg behind you. Again, you don't want it up close. You want to move it back enough behind you to open that hip. Hold on to the chair. Breathe in through your nose. Out through the mouth. And breathe in. And breathe out. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, let's come on back. In position. Ah, let's go back. What we're gonna do is little extensions, but we're gonna alternate. So I want you to flex that foot, kind of like we did earlier. We're not holding it as long, but we're flexing and we're moving. You're gonna feel this in the quadriceps. So let's go ahead and get 10 more. 10, flex the foot. Nine, eight, seven, beautiful job. Six, love, love, love. Oh, we got it going. That's four, three, two, Beautiful. So what I'd like you to do now, if you have ham weights, that's great. If not, we're gonna use that body. Lock the elbows into your side. Lock them in. Hinge forward slightly. And I want you to kick back. Kind of like you're swimming. Okay? Kick back. That's two. Keep the elbows. Don't let them sag. Lock them into the side. If you have one to three pounds, that's fine. If you have no weight, you'll feel it just as much. This is what comes back of the arm. Let's get five more. Five. Or those elbows in. And four. And you don't want to sit up too much because you won't get as much out of it. But if your back hurts, that's fine. You're welcome to sit up. If your back doesn't hurt, just give me a little hinge. Let's get two more for fun. One more. Squeeze the tricep. Five. Four. Feel that in the back of the arm? Three. Two. One. Oh, beautiful job. Take one arm behind you. Cut that elbow like you have a little itch on your back. A little back and stretch the muscle we just worked. Fabulous. Oh, love, love, love. I keep saying that because I know my body's loving this and I know yours is too. Go back the other way. Ah, back behind you, nice gentle stretch. Grab the elbow. 
hold, just a gentle, gentle stretch. Good. Roll those shoulders. Ah, excellent job, everyone. All right, time for some posture movements. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. You're gonna put your palms down in Frankenstein, Frankenstein type position. You guys know Frankenstein. And I want you to pinch that upper back together and then come back down. Perfect. So keep the hands right here and par uh, parallel to the ground with your palms down. Pinch the upper back and come back. So a lot of us tend to slump. We're at our computer, we're watching TV, we're driving, or we're just not thinking about our posture. So it's really important that this exercise we do a couple times a day. As a matter of fact, three times a day. Three sets of ten of this would be perfect. Pinch that upper back. I believe we're on five. I'm not the best count in the world, but as long as we get enough into where you're feeling that, we're good. So let's come back. That's seven. Pinch the upper back. Relax your neck. That's eight. Beautiful. I know you're feeling that. The upper back. That's nine. Let's get one more. And that's ten. Interlace those fingers. Tuck your chin in. And let's stretch that mid-back. So tuck in the chin in. Stretch the mid-back. Now take the same hands, reach up, lean back into your chair, and lean to one side. Oh, yes. Lean to the other side. And just loosey-goosey, shake out. Oh, loosey-goosey, feels good to move. Ready for a second set? I can't resist because I know posture control, a lot of you are saying, I know I slump a lot. And pinch that upper back. And that's good, keep the arms up, don't let them sag down. Pinch, pinch, good. Think about it, pretend there's something, I don't know, there's a million dollar bill sitting back there. You wanna squeeze it tight. Oh, four, good. I know you're not thinking there's a ravioli sitting back there. No, five, because we eat fruits and vegetables most of the time. And six, excellent, keep going. Seven, are those shoulders fatiguing a little bit? That's natural. And eight, we got a couple more. That's nine. We've got one more for posture control, anti-slump, hold, three, two, one. Interlace those fingers again, tuck your chin and stretch that mid and upper back. Beautiful. Okay, you're gonna love this stretch. I want both of your feet, go on those heels please. Sit up at the edge of your chair. I'd like you to take your hands on the outside, underneath, right by your calf and your ankles there, right underneath, grab it. And I want you to tuck down, look between the legs and just hold this stretch. And that's five, four, you feel that in the lower mid back? Three, two, one. And put your hands on those knees, sit back up. How did that feel? I know that felt pretty amazing, didn't it? All right, so let's sit up tall. Again, get your back nice and flat. We're gonna go swimming. So what I want you to do is you're gonna take your arm and we're gonna do a forward stroke. And if you're limited with your range of motion, maybe you, you have shoulder pain, you don't have to go as high. But otherwise, I want you to go a nice big swim. And swimming, a great non-impact move. If you have a chance to get in the pool, I really encourage you to do so. Reach even just to go and kick on the ledge. Hang on to a wet noodle and get whatever it takes. Let's get five more strokes. Five, this is great for the shoulder, four. Anybody ever had frozen shoulder before? We don't want to go there. Trust me. Oh, I've never had it, but I know of a lot of people that have had it. They said it's hard to do daily things like even putting on a bra, reaching, putting on a shirt, things like that. So all this kind of moving is going to help you with daily movements, daily tasks. Perfect. Now I'd like you to take your arms up, palms up, open up the chest. Take your arms across, reach back. This is a nice chest expander. Alternate the other hand on top. Let's get five more, that's five. Beautiful, wake up the chest and shoulders. Four, and three, let's get two more. Two, let's get one more, and one. Perfect, sit up on the edge one more time. Connect your fingers behind you, clasp your fingers, lift up, feel that stretch. Now lift your arms up, lift your arms up, lift them, lift them. Now take your head to the left. And take your head to the left. Beautiful. All right, let's sit back one more time. You're gonna reach up and over. Remember to anchor yourself.
proud of you for doing that. And thank you for joining me today. You did a great job on your workout.